Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Rao Kela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now let us see how to solve this given question. Here we have to show that this determinant is equal to two times of this determinant. Fine. I'm gonna go slow. Fine. So please stay with me. Now, this is the given determinant. Now how to start? See, instead of just mugging up, I want you guys to understand how it works and how the process goes, how to think, see. If you see here, in the first row, first element, I have B plus C. Below I have C plus A and here I have A plus B, fine. Now let's say if I'll add up just these, uh, uh, if I'll perform the operation R1 implies R1 plus R2 plus R3. So these three will get added and come in the first, I mean sort of in the first element, like I'd get B plus C plus C plus A plus A plus B. Now if I'll do that, I'd get 2A plus 2B plus 2C. See, likewise, if the same thing happens uh, in this row, I mean the element of this row and for the element of this row, then I would be getting something like common 2a plus 2b plus 2c. It comes again and again. Now see how it works. Let's say I'm applying this. R1 implies R1 plus R2 plus R3. I hope you know row operations. Even if you don't know, stay with me. I'm going to go slow. Now see, what does this R1 implies R1 plus R2 plus R3 means? It means that Let's say there is an element in row 1. Row, this is row. Horizontal is row. Vertical is columns. Okay. Row 1, R1, and it's this. I'm applying an op operation on this first row. Fine. Now, R1 implies R1 plus R2 plus R3 means that in place of this first element, okay, I'd get uh, this element plus this element plus this element. Okay. R1 means first element of each row like, gets added and comes like this. Like, and only the first row is changed. Like, whenever R1 implies means only first row is going to get changed. Okay. Now, see, if I'll apply that, I'll get this. R1 implies R1 plus R2 plus R3. See. In place of this B plus C, I'd get B plus C. Uh, I'd get uh, B plus C plus C plus A plus A plus B. Means R1 implies R1 plus R2 plus R3. As I mentioned, only R1 will get changed. And in this in the place of this element, I'd get B plus C plus C plus A plus A plus B. Okay. Likewise, in place of this element, I would get C plus A plus A plus B plus B plus C. You can see it's there. Likewise, in place of A plus B, I would get A plus B plus B plus C plus C plus A. Fine. Hope you guys understood it. Fine. I will simplify. So, B plus B is 2B, C plus C is 2C and 2A. So, 2A plus 2B plus 2C. Here also I would get the same thing. 2A plus 2B plus 2C. Here also I would get the same thing. 2A plus 2B plus 2C. Fine. Now that I wrote it as 2 into A plus B plus C. Okay, that I just wrote it as 2 into A plus B plus C. Fine. This step is there in red color, right? You can see it's actually not needed. I just kept it uh, so that you guys can understand how the operation is going on. Fine. This step is not needed. That's why I mean, you need not write in an actual exam. Fine. If you just put this operation and just write the step, that's enough. Fine. Now next what to do? I got 2 into a plus b plus c here also 2 into a plus b plus c 2 into a plus b plus c. Now just take 2 common from the first row. Just take 2 common. Don't take a plus b plus c common. Okay. Just take 2 common. Take 2 as common from the first. Now if I take 2 common from the first row in the next time, in the next uh, slide, what you are going to see is 2 will be outside. Here I would get a plus b plus c, a plus b plus c and a plus b plus c. So this is what I have. Fine. And before continuing, I just wanted to share something with you. Like, I understand studies are tough. I've been through what you guys are going through. It's definitely not easy. You have to put in effort. But think about it like this. Giving up is very easy, right? You can just give up like, okay, I, I don't want to bother about the exams. I don't want to bother about anything. I just want to give up. Giving up is easy, but if you give up, trust me, there is a good chance that you will regret it. I mean, uh, I tell you, like, uh, at least quite some good number of people, you know, think at that time I should have studied a bit more nicely. At least quite some good number. You can ask uh, some of your, some of the elders, you know, like, who are in B Tech or any other degree. 
so you see like giving up is easy but staying in the field i mean staying with books and you know putting effort consistently it's difficult but you will be rewarded you will get good results keep putting effort try your best okay at least by doing that you might get some better result than what you could expect right okay now let's come back चलो नो नो माई नेक्स्ट ऑपरेशन इज इफ यू गैस सी लाइक यू गैस माई थिंक वाई आई एम डूइंग ऑल दिस थिंग वॉट दे आवाज डिस दे आर आस मी टू शो दैट दिस डिटर्मिनेट इज इक्वल टू दिस डिटर्मिनेट ओके नो माई अल्टीमेट जॉब नो माई अल्टीमेट जॉब इज टू कन्वर्ट समथिंग लाइक इज टू डू समथिंग ऑन दिस इन दिस डिटर्मिनेट सो दैट आई गेट ए बी सी बी सी एस ये फाइन दैट इज माई टारगेट ओके नो हाउ एम गोइंग टू अचीव इट इज प्लीज सी What I'm going here, you see there is C plus A. Here there is A plus. A. Now here there is C plus A. Let's say I'll I'll subtract it from row one. I'll subtract this R two. I mean, I, if I'll do R two minus R one. So C plus A minus of A plus B plus C A plus B minus of A plus B plus C B plus C minus of A plus B plus C. Let's say I'll do this. Let's say I'll do this. If I'll apply this, this is what I did. C plus A minus of A plus B plus C and then A plus B minus of A plus. B. Fine. uh this go here like r2 implies r2 minus r1 means this will be there as it is r2 minus this a plus b minus this a minus of a plus b plus that's what it is likewise r3 implies r3 minus r1 means a plus b minus of this b plus c minus of a plus b plus c and again c plus a minus of a plus b right this step you won't find anywhere i've just put it so that you guys will understand how the process works okay i know my solutions are a bit lengthy if you compare it with the textbook or any other guide it's a bit lengthy but i want you guys to get clear cut clarity how things work now let's just simplify c plus a minus a minus b minus c so a and minus a c and minus c so i left out with minus b here in place of this i get minus b likewise if you simplify this if you sim if you see this a plus b minus a minus b minus c so minus c i get b plus c uh minus a minus b minus c so minus a i'll get here likewise if you'll simplify the bottom three you'll get this bottom three I'll get. now you see i'm actually quite close to my goal really see see i got something like you see single element now previously there were like two to i mean you see there are two terms here like c and a here also a and b like here i got a single term now minus b minus c minus a minus c minus c. fine so i'm getting close now what is the problem the problem is that in the first row the uh, consider this I have like three terms a plus b plus c i only got a single term now what to do what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply r1 implies r1 plus r2 plus r3 okay r1 implies r1 plus r2 plus r3 now if i apply this this is what i'm get in place of this i'd get a plus b plus c Plus minus b plus minus c, which is nothing but a plus b plus c minus b minus c. Fine. Again, a plus b plus c minus c minus a. Fine. See again, guys. Listen. If some of you have any doubts, please come in the comment box. I'll try my best to help you out there. Okay. Fine. I'm going as slow as possible. In case if you feel I'm going too slow, you can, you know, just increase this video speed. Okay. I'm going slow. I know. Now next, because I want everyone else, everyone to understand. Now a plus b plus c minus c minus b. Right? This step also you won't find anywhere. I just kept it as extra because you know it will look clear, like it will give you clarity, like how things are happening directly. Again, if R one is involved, only R one elements will change. Only R elements of R row one will change. Row two and row three elements will remain as it is. Now see, a plus b plus c minus c minus minus b minus c. So b b And C C gone. Only A will remain here. Here A and here also like C C. Now only B will remain here. Now here A B will go. Only C will remain. Fine. Now next thing. Now next thing. This you see minus B minus C minus A minus C minus C minus. C. What I'm doing is I'm going to write minus B as minus one into B. Minus C as minus one into C, minus A as minus one into A. Likewise, this also minus one into C. Now, why you will understand? As I mentioned here, I get A B C. Right? Now, 
take minus one as common from second row and third row. So minus one when it comes out, one minus one and another minus one. So fine. So two into minus one into see now understand guys. One important thing which you guys need to understand about row operator in determinants is it does not mean that minus one will come three times. We will take common. Okay, if I am going to take common, it should be there in the entire row. Okay, that element should be there with all the row elements. I mean, you see, minus one is there in this entire row. That's when I can take it common, and only once it will come out. And likewise, here I took minus one common, and only once it came out. Please understand this. Okay, it is not like our ordinary thing that you know sometimes like three times minus one if we are taking common. No, that's not how it works. Okay, please. Ho I hope you guys will remember this. Whenever I take common, it's not that three will come out. Only once to uh, for, uh, for, uh, for for me to take out something common, it should be there in the entire row like this, and then I can take it common. Likewise, if I'll multiply something, uh, something I can I should multiply it with the entire row. Let's say if I'll send this two back, I'll have to multiply it with a, b, and c. Two a, two b, two c. Are you? I hope I made myself clear. Fine. Now minus one into minus one is plus one, so two into that of a b c b c and c b. Fine. This is what they had asked, and this is what we got. You see, I I tried my best to go logically so that you won't have to mug up this sum. How what are the operations? How things went? How things went and everything. Okay. Fine. So thank you very much for staying with me up to now. Uh, please hit the like button if you like this video, and if this is your first time coming across to my channel, please do subscribe to it. okay and uh, not just this question you can check out the description for some more playlists and also you can check out uh my channel playlist i mean you can go to my channel and go to the playlist section so that you can find out many more playlists which could be helpful once again thank you